So we're going to go back to something that we talked about before. And this is where we go into fulfillment. This is where we go into our closing scenario. Right? Now, on the phone, before we've ever gotten together, on the phone, before we've ever gotten together, so if you go to the second tier of our selling system, right? Setting clear expectations. Right? I said something like this. Mr. Jones, when we get together, out of the hundred things that we can talk about, what's the top two or three things you want to make sure we cover? And having said that a thousand times, this is what Mr. Jones says. Well, I'd like to talk about A, I'd like to talk about B, and I'd like to talk about C. So that's what Mr. Jones said on the phone before I ever went out there, right? So, Mr. Jones, when we get together for this to be a productive meeting for you, right, because we can talk about a hundred different things, what are the top two or three things you want to make sure we cover for it to be a productive meeting for you? And Mr. Jones is going to say, I'd like to talk about A, I'd like to talk about B, and I'd like to talk about C. Right? And I, and I very conscientiously and carefully recorded the pains, the compelling reasons. Why? Remember? Reasons? Right? These are problems. Successful salespeople are problem solvers looking for problems to solve. I'm a problem solver looking for problems to solve. Because if you don't have a problem, if you don't need to have anything solved, there's probably a pretty good chance that we're not going to have an opportunity to work together. I'm a problem solver looking for problems to solve. Now, Mr. Jones on the telephone was kind enough to say, Don, you know, when we get together, I want to talk about A, B, and C. And I thank you for that. Thank you for sharing that with me. And I took very, very, you know, meticulous notes. And now I know that these are Mr. Jones' hot points. So now we've already agreed at the end of our time together, we're going to have a yes or no. We've done everything that we can do. Now we are sitting down with Mr. Jones. This is the language that I want you to use. I want to make sure we move into the conversation fluidly. Right? And this is the, and I've said this again a thousand times. Mr. Jones, you were kind enough to invite me in. Why don't you go first? When we spoke on the phone, Mr. Jones, you told me you were having a problem with A. Is that still the problem? And Mr. Jones, 99% of the time, is going to say yes. And he is not going to re-explain the problem. So that squiggly line, that green squiggly line, is Mr. Jones's re-explanation of the problem. So let me go back through this. I now am sitting down with Mr. Jones, and I say, Mr. Jones, you were kind enough to invite me in. Why don't you go first? On the phone when we spoke, you said you were concerned about this. Can you share that with me again? And this is Mr. Jones's, again, re-explanation of his problem with A. And I let him talk, right? If he talks for five minutes, ten minutes, two, it doesn't make any difference. Let him talk. It will reach a natural point in the conversation where he will comfortably allow it to subside and it'll be your opportunity to take it off. So that is, right there, the time when Mr. Jones stops, right? So I said, Mr. Jones, you were kind enough to invite me in. Right on the phone, you mentioned you were having a problem with A. Can you kind of bring me up to speed on where that is right now? This is Mr. Jones's re-explanation of his problem with A. And here is Mr. Jones's natural stop. And I thank him for that. Thank you for sharing that with me. I appreciate that. And again, always share. Right? The share has such a strong impact on your psyche because it was so reinforced when you were young. It was good to share. Right? Mom said that. Dad said that. Family members said that. So this is the natural conclusion of Mr. Jones's re-explanation of A. And I thank you for that, Mr. Jones. I appreciate you sharing that with me. Thank you so much. And now for the first time, I'm going to give him my explanation of how I'm going to solve this problem. And this is my explanation of how I'm going to solve Mr. Jones's problem. Okay? Again, keep in mind, I'm up here on this side explaining how I'm going to solve this problem. Here, I'm only solving the problem or telling them how I'm going to solve it to people that have the money 